Sample problem number eight, natural convection. So for this, we are given with three scenarios. A square plate whose one side is maintained at a temperature of 90 degrees Celsius while the other side is perfectly insulated. So the temperature of the fluid surrounding this plate is 30 degrees Celsius or the temperature of the room. So we consider a 0.6 by 0.6 meter thin convection when the plate is vertical, when the hot surface is facing up, and when the hot surface is facing down. So our assumptions are steady operating conditions, air is an ideal gas, the local atmospheric condition is at 1 atm. So to analyze the, this system, we need to solve for the film temperature, which is the average temperature of the surface, and the fluid temperature. So that is 90 degrees Celsius plus 30 divided by 2. So we have 60 degrees Celsius. And then evaluate uh, K, beta, kinematic viscosity, and PR at 60 degrees Celsius using our, using our table. See, at 60 degrees Celsius, so our K is 0 0.02808 our kinematic viscosity is 1.896 times 10 to negative 5 and then the Prandtl number is 0.7202 and then our volumetric coefficient of expansion is the reciprocal of 1 over the film temperature so uh, for the rate of heat loss by natural convection we will use this formula so we will solve for the H for each cases because we already have area of the surface, TS, and the fluid temperature. So each cases has different Nusselt number and therefore has different convection coefficient. Number one, when the plate is in vertical position, as you can see, coefficient Nusselt number. can be calculated using equation 921 at the table. Table in page 76. So for a vertical plate, as you can see, so for a vertical plate, so our characteristics length is equal to the length of the plate. And then the Riley number, the ranges are, and then for the Nusselt number, uh, each of these equations are usable. Third equation, equation 9-21 for a vertical plate. This is the equation of our Nusselt number. So we will solve for the Riley number first. For the Riley number, so we already used this in our previous example. All we have to take note is that our characteristics length now is equal to the, the height of the plate which is 0.6 meter. For vertical plate so substituting all the values that we already have we can solve for the Riley number as 7.65 times 10 to the pop substituting these values to our Nusselt number equation since we already have the Nusselt number our Nusselt since we already have our Riley number our Nusselt number is there for 113.349 so finally we can solve for the H using our equation for the conviction coefficient in terms of the Nusselt number and then finally we can also solve for our requir requirement which is the heat transfer when the plate is in vertical position 115.41 for the horizontal plate with hot surface facing up in case B so we will still have the same area which is L squared, 0.6 meter by 0.6 meter. Uh, convection coefficient, we will use the same formula. It's just that this time, our characteristics length, if the hot surface is facing up, uh, looking at our table, our table when the hot surface is facing up, so this one, horizontal plate, when the upper surface is facing up, so this one, our characteristics length now is no longer L, as you can see. But this time, our characteristics length is equals to the 
the surface area of the plate divided by the perimeter. And then we can use any of this equation in solving for the NASA number. So, using our equation for the characteristics length, so that it's surface area divided by the perimeter of the, the plate. So our LC or characteristics length is 0 0.15. Then for the Nusselt number, we will use equation 9-22 in the table. So 0.54, Riley number to the power of 4. So for the Riley number, we will use the same equation. And then let's substitute all the given that we have to solve for the Riley number. So our Riley number is 1.195 times 10 to the power of 7. So we already have the Riley number. We substitute it in the equation for the Nusselt number. So our Nusselt number is 31.749. And finally, we can solve for the con conviction coefficient by substituting the, num the Nusselt number. So our H is 5.986 watts per meter squared Kelvin. And then going back to our rate of heat transfer equation when the hot surface is facing up. So our Q dot is 129.30 watts. So as you can see, when the hot surface is facing up, it is losing more heat as compared to when it is in vertical position. And finally, for the last case, when we have a horizontal with hot surface that is facing down as shown in case number C. So for the Nusselt number, so looking at, at the table again, we will use equation 9-24. So we will solve for the Riley number. So in this case, the Riley number is the same as in case B. So we will automatically substitute for the Riley number which we already have in case B. So that's why we have Nusselt number 15.875 and then substituting to H and finally to Q. So our Q is 64.65 watts. So, as you can see, among the three conditions here, the, when the hot surface is facing down, it is losing the least amount of heat.